Hi everyone, this is Marcus Petri with another video in English. And today especially dedicated to Brazilian fans that want to learn English from me via the videos of the channel. With a very, very popular doubt amongst the Brazilian fans. What's the difference between these and this? A very subtle one, but it drops many expectations to learn English and today I came to kind of propose a way to make you figure out what is this difference? How to spot the difference? Because many people, they mess up the singular, this, and the plural, these. I came up with a song that I found on the internet and that's going to teach you not only to differentiate plural and the singular, but also to ponder upon the way that autistic people think. And the song I talk about is This Is by Irish band Aslam. So, I encourage you to find another tab on your browser, listen to the song in the version of Viker Street 1999, the live version, beautiful live version, and then you come back here. Well, now I assumed you already listened to the song, let's go for the lyrics, for the lyrics, actually. Lyrics is wrong, lyrics. So the lyrics are interesting because it starts off with the plural. These are the hands of a tired man, and then go back to singular. This is the old man shroud. Go back to plural. These are the eyes of a blood traced tiger, staring at the maddening crowd. Go back to singular. This is the face of a teenage mother. Singular again, this is the child she bears. This is the soul of a broken lover, searching for the smiles they shared. And go back to plural, these are the feet of the punished pilgrim. And in his book of punished love, you see his eyes, you see no surprise, waiting for a lie that's true. This is a succession between um, plural and singular. Plural and singular, and it's very good to you to listen to that. Very good for you to listen to that, because you're going to accostumate your ears. You're going to accostumate and train your listening to differentiate these and this. These and this in a very fun way, because the voice of the singer, my God, is a very, very heavenly voice. Don't you agree? Right, so what I'm going to analyze in the first part of the lyrics, again, is another structure that in English sometimes confuses Brazilians, not only in English, but in other Germanic languages. For example, uh, if you spot here, um, let me see, um, um, No, it, it, it occurs uh, forward. In, in another verse, we're going to analyze what I wanted to discuss with you about. So moving to the next verse, which is very interesting to understand the working of the mind of autistic people. It says, everybody hits you with this feeling. Nobody seems to understand. You stop, you look, you're searching for the meaning of love which has responded by the backing vocal with wasting your life away. And here is the part I wanted to comment with you about. These are the dreams of a sleeping father. These are the dreams of a sleeping father. And in his long to last days, he sees a child, he sees his eyes waiting for the price he paid. These are the tears of a fallen idol. And in his smile of shattered love, you see his eyes, you see no surprise, you just see lights and you realize. Then another part which is interesting, but I'm going to comment the prior one about the sleeping father. Well, many people they use that in English in an appropriate form. Not in an appropriate form, but in a form that uh, regular people, natives, they wouldn't use. Americans, English, Irish, they wouldn't choose. And in this verse, the verse of the sleeping father, it elucidates that. For example, it's not, these are the dreams of a, of a father which is sleeping. These are the dreams of a sleeping father. 
and this construction is very often used in another language as well, as well which is German. German, it would be like uh, Die seit die Auge eines schlafende Vater. Eines schlafende Vater. Uh, a father who sleeps. You know, a father who sleeps. Sleep and father. A father who sleeps. This is tricky at first, but it's going to make all the difference alongside your path of learning. So, a brief comment done. Let's move on to the next part of the lyrics, which is very interesting for understanding the autistic processing. Here with you, no one here but you. No one moves like you. Nobody touches like you. This is very beautiful on the version I separated for you because the crowd started singing together and it's beautiful. This is the part where I start crying. Really. And moving on. These are the feet of the punished pilgrim. And to his book he prays. You see his eyes. You see no surprise. You just see lights and you realize that everybody listen, that everybody hits you with these feelings. Nobody seems to understand. You stop, you look, you're searching for the meaning of love, wasting your life away. Guys, this part marked me, that's why I remember it by heart. Everybody hits you with these feelings. Nobody seems to understand. You stop, you look, you're searching for the meaning of love. You're wasting your life away on it, right? And this part, it connects a lot with me, or I connect a lot with this part of the song, this bit. And whenever it starts, this particular one, I start crying. Tears stream on my eyes because it's like this. Living with autistic uh, conditions, being autistic is sometimes having to deal with this, with the feelings of the world, with the gatherings you sometimes might not understand, with the timing you don't have to respond things when they happen, which is a burden emotionally. So this track is served you very well to analyze three things, to analyze the plurals and the singulars, which I hope you got, to analyze the structure of uh, indication that Germanic language they use. For example, sleep and father, and not father which is sleeping. Very interesting trick, very tricky at the beginning, but as soon as you get it, your English is going to get better. Trust me, mine did. With this exact song, with this exact structure, this exact part, this is, uh, these are, sorry, the dreams of a sleeping father. And I always sang it like, these are the dreams of a father which is sleeping, which is not, which is, these are the dreams of a sleeping father, right? It's a tiny difference, but it makes all the difference. It makes you understood, it makes you heard, it makes you concise. It's tiny, it's worthy learning and mastering. And it's worthy learning and mastering the how autistic minds they process the world and how they figure out the solutions for their problems. You saw that it was gatherings all the time. Our minds, they make gatherings of information in order to create sense to reality we live. But for autistic people, it takes six seconds more. Think of this song when you're going to judge an autistic being. The tales they gather, and autistic people, they have to make meaning of, out of them. So, help us prior to judging us. Give us extra time. This is the thing you have to do when you don't know what to do. This is the starting point of inclusion, and I hope you've gotten it once more via this beautiful song. And if you're interested in the version of U2, there is this version on YouTube. You're going to find that's going to be very nice, as well as Aslam's was. I hope you enjoyed the video, the very different video of today. I hope you 
known a different band if you still didn't know who Aslan were and I hope you're going to find the U2's version to compare with this and I hope you pardon me for my voice because I'm very very smoky due to a flu and if you are in America, Ireland and in Canada you listen to this song you're going to have a deep meaning of the autistic mind and the how it gathers information in order to make an understanding of the world and the how you could be the bridge between the world and the understanding of it. Thank you very much for sticking around with this long video, very different one and if you like this mini lesson just comment below and I'm going to effort and make new ones. I'm not Mario Vergara, I'm not uh, English in Brazil uh, by Karina Fragoso, but I efforted to give you an overview of my English and the structures that are going to bump up your English proficiency. I hope you liked it. And I dedicate this video to my brother, which is on birthday today. It is his birthday, October the 9th. And uh, I could not dedicate this video to another person today. Huge hugs everyone, huge hugs Bruno. Everything good about your life. Make good decisions as you always made. Inspire me every time. And once again, sorry, huge sorry for my voice today. And I was failing a lot, smoky a lot. I have to do something about it. Tell me what to do about it in the commentary section below. And huge, huge hugs for your time, for your patience and for your caring for this idea of discussing autism. Now incorporating a bit of an English version, English lesson, I mean, English lesson. Bye bye.